Yeah, what is up, guys? Uh, I have not. I don't know if anybody's been paying attention, but I haven't uploaded any kind of uh, content on my channel at all. Uh, neither my secondary channel. I've been kind of like on a black kind of type uh, attitude. I need to because I have a lot of content saved already. I've been recording a lot with um, friends with my second YouTube channel, which is my Let's Play channel. And then also I've recorded some uh, for this channel or some Marvel footage. I want to get on to also making Stepmania footage also. I guess uh, just playing around with the game and, uh, you know, going for high scores and stuff like that. But uh, on the subject of Stepmania, um, I've been, I'm pretty sure anybody who's already had this problem or still doesn't know how to make this problem go away. I, uh, and um, the whole point of it is to make your Stepmania um, soft pad. I mean, uh, have a soft pad working for your Step Mania, because obviously the whole reason why we want to play Step Mania is to play on our soft mats. Uh, some people play with keyboards, but you know, like me, I like to get kind of a good exercise playing. Uh, you know, since there's no arcades um, where I live, and I used to love playing um, DDR a lot in my uh, local arcades. I used to spend all day there and just dance my ass off. So, um, yeah. Anyways. Uh, this problem is really, really widespread. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with it when I had my PC before, which ran on XP, to get myself at working. I had to go through endless days of looking on the internet where to find the drivers, uh, discover EXBDC, XBDC, sorry. And, um, it was just really annoying, like, to get it working. All this just to play on the dance pad. Um... Mind you, this one is uh, my soft pad, which a lot of people have. Is the uh, they released it for Universe Two on the Xbox 360, but uh, I think this one might be the same type of make and model because uh, I got this one for my uh, when they released DDR, just regular Dance Dance Revolution on the uh, Xbox 360 and the PS3. So uh, this one's the Xbox version of it, so um, it's able to plug into PCs, obviously, but. Uh, once you, that's something I'm going to get into, uh, it's part of the tutorial, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Why do I keep dropping my mouse? There it is. Okay, anyways, let's get on to the tutorial. Um, first off, you can go ahead and uh, put in your, uh, your DDR pad right now, because uh, we want to get that working. Um, it's most likely not going to turn on immediately. You'll see that the light is not on or is any indication that it's on. So um, we, what we do want to, mind you this is an Xbox pad, we want to go to the internets and go to the Microsoft Hardware page. Um, I'll provide this in the description and you want to download the drivers so you can use it on your computer. Uh, you know, here's all the technical guides stuff. But what you do need to download is the this file right here, which will enable you to play 360 controllers on your laptop computer. Download that, install it, and um, once it's once it's installed, uh, your dance pad. Once you restart your computer, your dance pad should start or uh, should turn on. Now, uh, your computer will detect it. Um, yeah, so for everything. Everything deceivingly looks good for you to be able to play it. So um, after you restart and came back and got your dance pad working, you will instinctively go to Set Mania and try to play it. Yeah, it will play, but then you know, if you're an interme intermediate player like I am, you'll notice that you can't push up and down at the same time, and that is a big problem because harder type songs are uh, have a lot of up and down double steps together. You know, so it, it can create quite of a problem, <laughs> at least, uh, you know, to say. But um, now this is why the main part of the tutorial is is here. But anyways, um, next you're going to need these two programs, which is XBDC Installer uh, 0 0.27 and the Driver Overrider Enforcer, um, which I'll go ahead and provide in the uh, description also. Uh, you're gonna. This is the main page 
where most of it I got the idea for it, or I got these links from. But um, you it'll take you to the two pages except for the XBDC. That one I provided myself because I found that uh, where this linked you to didn't take you to a right area. I mean, it took you to an almost identical area, but both the links are broken, or it seemed like it wanted to download a virus to me or something. So. Uh, I found another one that is almost similar, but it it had Mediafire, which I trust a lot on when it comes to downloading programs. And uh, yeah, it's, I don't think it has a password or anything. You can just download it there and install, and you'll get the the thing that the exe that's on my um, main page right now. And then you'll take you to this one for the over to the driver signature overwriter. Just hit agree, download it, and you know save them to your desktop. Now. Once you have these, oh, also one more thing that you need in the page that I will subscribe, uh, that I have subscribed, put it in the uh, description. Uh, again, I want to thank this person for helping me out and helping everybody else out. Uh, at the bottom, towards the bottom, it'll say download DDR uh, pad profile. Just hit right click it. Um, I might link that also in the description. If not, you can just come here and download it yourself. It'll give you if it'll give you a, a, a notepad with some information on it or it might give you a zip file you can just unzip it and it'll give you the same thing but um once you have all those four things you pretty got much got what you need um now you're gonna want to notice that like i said once you've downloaded the microsoft accessories thing to get it working um it'll work and everything but the uh the up and down situation at the same time is, is giving you problems so what you what you want to do to fix the situation is you're going to want to download XBDC you get that working you install it you know I think everybody knows how to install just next 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 install you know um, it already exists for me so I'm just gonna cancel it you know what to do uh, just hit finish. Now you go want to do the same thing to the uh, driver installer, re-encoder, whatever you want to call it. You know, yes. This page will come up. Say yes. Okay, and then you'll want to hit enable test mode. And then once test mode has been enabled, you want to restart your computer now. Um, after you've done both those things because you need to restart before it will enable you to do the next step so after you have I'm going to give you a pause for a little bit so you can go do that and come back to the video and um, after you've done that I'm going to give you a moment of silence and alright you're back anyways now that you're back you want to go to sign a system file now my Jack, I'm getting a little ahead of myself now, but uh, I'll show you why. Now that both are installed, you'll want to now find the system directory path where you installed your XPGC driver. That, you know, boy, I don't know, don't know how to explain it, but the system directory path where XPGC installed it went. Um, it's in, if you want to find where the XPGC is, it's right here in your program files. Um, you're trying to find the system file and uh, in that page on where I found the solution to this it'll say look for syswile in your Windows syswile for uh, 64 on your main hard drive but uh, I did not find it there for me I found it in local disk C Windows system 32 in the drivers folder and then just push X uh, in the thing and it will take you straight to this now what you're gonna want to do is Again, get the directory path, which is local disk C, Windows, System32, Drivers. And it gives you an example of how to put it in right there. So just put that in into there. And hit OK. And uh, it'll say that it over overrid it. Now that you'll be able to do anything with it. Now, the reason why we did that is because something that always happens, we want to go to computer and hit manage and it'll take us to our device manager you want to go to device manager on this left hand side 
go to human interfaces and right here it should have a, uh, an XBDC or Xbox foot pad or DDR pad it might say something different you want to hit update driver software now if we didn't overwrite the driver software for XBDC it would never let us get to a certain point which I'll bring up in a bit um, it gives you two options to search automatically or from my computer or from driver software from your computer you want to hit the bottom one uh, and this will ask you you know from a certain place at the bottom it will say let me pick from a list of drivers now um, it'll come up with these three options but you want this option to come up which is XBDC Xbox footpad any kind of thing it'll come up with I've seen it uh, cases where it will say DR footpad Konami footpad um, just click it and hit next now see how it finished and it said that it successfully updated the driver software um, if we hadn't not overridden it like we did with using the program to override it it would have not overridden it and not let us uh, updated it so and I'll show you why at the end why that's important and the reason the whole point of the video which is to fix that problem but um, now that that's done out of the way now we have one more thing to do before you can successfully dance your ass off um, you wanna go to XBDC again go to um, setup utility now you wanna run this as admin I don't know why it has you running as admin but it, you have to open it now if you did not do what I just said right now uh, when you ran XBDC it was not going to run it was not going to show up your dance button because the drivers weren't updated for it so now it should be because you did what we did just a few seconds ago minute whatever now that it's selectable um, here's the you know all the options you can tweak with it by yourself uh, mine's already tweaked to the the way it's supposed to be to make it work now remember the uh, X GE file notepad, XGI notepad file, this little baby right here. Well, this is the settings for uh, this, so it can read as an actual dance pad and not as a D pad. So, you know, how the hell are we going to do that? You just go ahead down to the bottom right here and hit open, and it'll ask where it is. You just find wherever it is, hit open, and it will automatically read uh, how the dance pad's supposed to be you hit apply and then you can exit and then that's about it you just open up step mania and uh, config it and everything should be working well you should be able to push up and down now um, and you should be dancing your ass off like I am but thanks for watching guys um, I told you I want to get some stuff out for me I have uh, some like content that I need to put up that I been too lazy to put up um, mostly some Marvel stuff a lot of stuff from my uh, secondary YouTube channel which is a let's play a let's play channel with me and my friend we've been playing a, a very very long playthrough of uh, Naruto Ninja Storm Generations 3 uh, we haven't had time to record a lot of the episodes because of our uh, schedules I guess my friend works a lot so um, yeah um, I'm gonna have some Marvel stuff coming up um, I'm working on this beautiful lady's uh, tutorial my tutorial for her uh, I want to it's been taking quite a while but I want to make sure that it's uh, as detailed as it possibly can be for a lot of people because I want to really expose this character for being a really really good character and not like the worst thing to ever happen to the game and also some uh, some uh, step mania stuff also which is the main reason why I'm doing this so I can you know uh, have some people to kind of know how to play Step Mania with me and maybe you know play Step Mania with some people because I have yet to play with anybody you know um, but uh, yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions on uh, what you need to do maybe I messed up somewhere or you need help on something just let me know in the comments and I will try to do my best to help you out so if you enjoyed what you saw just subscribe give me a like anything help me out so uh, I'll catch you guys next time and uh, thanks.